Hello and welcome to this lecture. For this section of the course, you will need a proper Databricks cluster. The community addition will not work. So, to create a proper Databricks cluster, if you go to databricks.com and clusters and click on try Databricks, you will get 14 days free Databricks cluster. So you can put all your details here as it says here, try Databricks for free. So you have it available for 14 days. It is free. Put all your details here and click on get started for free. You will come to this screen. There are standard premium and enterprise options. Standard is fine. Just click on create. So the way Databricks works, first you have to create a workspace and once the workspace is allocated to you, you can always create more than one cluster within the same workspace. So over here, provide the details of the workspace like workspace name. You can put any name. So I just put Sandrusa and then click on start, quick start. And this will take you to AWS. Make sure you have login to AWS. If you do not have login to AWS, go create a login to AWS and then start over. Very good. Login to AWS and that's it. The process starts. You will see quick create stack message and there you will see all the options like template, stack name and all that. No need to change anything. Just go through all that and enter Databricks account password. Whatever is your password for Databricks account, enter it here. Scroll down. Yes. And say create and then click on create stack that's it the process started it will take few minutes but overall the process is fast it will show you what's happening and on the right side the process starts just monitor all the events it has different events and the timestamps just keep refreshing that so far there are 18 events created now it's 20 22 23 lot of events being created and these are all basically Databricks components. Now you can go to Databricks and if you see your workspace should be there and status will be provisioning. Wait for the provisioning to finish. You can monitor the status right here in Databricks workspace screen. It should be ready any seconds now. Provisioning. Ah, wow. Now it says running, right? So it's right there. Click on open and you have to enter Databricks username and password again. Click on sign in. And here you go. You are in Databricks compute now. Now you can create a cluster. So if you close this one, this is just a message. Just go through this uh, Databricks. If you are new to Databricks, you can go through these messages. There are some very useful uh, documents and go to compute and there you will see already a cluster created for you. Uh, it's better to create a new cluster 
because that you can create as per your own specification. This is a default cluster created under the workspace. When you create a workspace, the Databricks create a default cluster starter cluster under that workspace. Click on create cluster to create a new cluster. We should spend some time on this because based on the Python version you have on your laptop because now you are going to connect your laptop with this cluster. Uh, you are not going to work on Databricks uh, directly the way you worked in the previous section. In this section you will connect your laptop with the cluster. So it is important to know the version of Python installed on your laptop and accordingly you select the cluster version. Uh, that is important. You can see the table in this lecture and you can decide accordingly. I have Python 3.8 on my laptop so I'm going to select cluster 9.1 very good no need to change here just put the cluster name I'm going to call it Sandrusa DB That's it. Everything else looks good. Just click on create cluster and cluster creation has started. Uh, this will take few minutes at least, right? This takes some time. So wait for the cluster to be created. And once cluster is created, uh, you can see how many nodes are there. In the meantime, you can terminate the default cluster. You don't need it. So terminate it go back to the clusters and once the cluster is created you can see the specifications like uh, how many nodes are there and other details uh, you will have to note down those details for databricks connect and that we will talk about in the next lecture for now just wait for this cluster to come up very good it's up now and you see the number of nodes it says three nodes are there Awesome! Congratulations! You got your Databricks cluster up and running. Now it is time to get working on Databricks Connect. Awesome! I will see you in next lecture.